What's good, y'all? Thank you so much for coming back to Kick It With A Real Raw. Brown Skin John, if you interested, go ahead and hit that like button, the subscribe button, so we can keep this content moving around this YouTube screen. You feel me? All right, let's jump into this mother. <laughs> So look, this message is focusing on forgiveness. Oh my gosh, what are we going to talk about forgiveness? Don't nobody care. Hold on, I was supposed to turn my motherfucking, uh, there we go. Uh, diffuser on, shit. Need something flowing around this motherfucker. Thank you. There we go. We're not good. We're not good. Essential diffusion over here. All right. So, yes, forgiveness, y'all. I let us beat this shit go so crazy, so crazy, so crazy. T preachers, holla at me here because I really want to use your beats in my videos. But anyway, we're gonna glide past that. Forgiveness, okay. So I made um one of my short videos. I usually post content on all my platforms. I try to. Don't matter. I just trying to. I'm trying to touch everybody. All right. But um, I made a short video about forgiveness, but I wanted to get on YouTube and, and create a longer video because I wanted to really jump more in depth into the download and just all of it, okay? Not sh no, not shortening it. I want to get to it, all right, y'all? So the other day, Spirit put on my heart, um, Mary J. Blige, No More Drama. That song actually has been my song since I was a little girl. Like, I used to love that song. Like, my mom used to be like, Oh, calm down. Like, <laughs> I used to feel it so much. Frequencies and music is real. I used to feel that shit so much, y'all. And the re I felt like Spirit brought it back on me because it's like, I need you to feel that feeling again. I need you to feel that no more drama in your life feeling, okay? And so, when we're going to talk about forgiveness, we're talking about, first of all, forgiving yourself. And I'm going to tell you how... And why it's important to forgive yourself first and foremost. Because that opens the door for you to forgive other people. Okay? So, we need to focus on forgiving ourselves for our past. Okay? I'm going to use myself for an example. I love to be vulnerable with you guys. I love to be transparent. Just so you know, like I always say, I ain't talking out my asshole. I'm not projecting onto you either. I'm just giving you an idea that I understand what you could be going through right now is energy is energy. So if I'm feeling something, you must be feeling it too. You know what I'm saying? Somebody out there is. So for me personally, a lot of shit from my past is coming up. Mental. You know what I'm saying? It's coming up because it needs to be purged. So I find myself sometimes still kicking back. like, And also it could be these people too thinking about you. The shit that they've done to you. Because a lot of times a lot of memories will pop up out of nowhere. I'll be like... Just sit in there, then something will trigger me, and I'll start thinking about something that happened when I was 12, when I was 15, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'll get that feeling to come over me again, and I'll just be like, you fucking bitch. Da -da 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 -da. Like cursing that person out or damned in that situation again. And it's just like, whoa. You know, like, why are you still so strong minded about that? Why are your feelings so, so strong about that said situation? And I had to, you know, really stop and think about that shit. Like, you feel like that because it's not all the way done yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't get it all the way out. And it's because, and also it's like, you haven't fully forgiven yourself for that situ for going through that situation or how you feel about that situation. Because it's like, I need to forgive myself. I need to forgive myself for feeling bad about how people treated me. You know, it's like, you can't control how somebody treats you. That's like, I'm, I'm, I could be a nice ass person to walk into a room and, and there's a shitty, like a group of shitty people in there and they just make you feel like a piece of shit and you're just like, yo, I did nothing to you for you to treat me like this and you treat me like a piece of shit right now. It's just like, that's not on you. That's on them. They gonna have to worry about that shit one day. Not you. You know what I'm saying? So it's taking all of those experiences and knowing that they can't do anything to you anymore. They can't harm you anymore. They can't hold you hostage anymore unless you allow them to. And I found myself allowing it to, because why am I even still flustered by it, you know? And that's what God wants us to do right now, forgive ourselves, right? There's so much beauty. There's so much treasure that's coming towards the divine children 
because it, the ones that's been doing the work, the ones that's been digging deep, learning themselves, learning divinity, and trying to help others in any way that you possibly can, right? There's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of harvest coming to us. A lot of blessings being bestowed upon us. But we have to have the heart to receive it. When you have a lot, that's like wearing dirty boots and you have a clean white mansion. You're not going to want to walk in your clean white mansion with your dirty boots on. Your whole outfit could be clean, but them boots ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You got to change your shoes too. Or take the motherfuckers off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to finish, finish the job. And so, forgiving yourself sets the tone for tomorrow. Forgiving yourself erases, it, it, causes, it, it cleans the sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's saying, this person did this to me. And the moment that I decide that that has no power over me anymore, that kind of, it's like it cuts the cord. Because what is it attaching to now? Before it attached to your pain, before it attached to your psyche and your emotional, you know what I'm saying, status and your mental status, but that has something to attach itself to. Once you say, hey, I release you. I relinquish you. You have I have nothing to do with you. You have nothing to do with me. It has it has nowhere to go. It has to dissipate. It has to disappear. It has to go off. It is gone. You know what I'm saying? And when we do that internally for ourselves, not only are you raising your vibration, but you are clearing out your heart chakra. Chakra, excuse me. I just learned the correct way to say it, and I felt like an asshole the whole time saying it wrong. Chakra, guys. You're clearing out your heart chakra. You are balancing it out, right? So when you forgive yourself, when you are presented with these situations again or these people again, it don't have to be, you know, a bad situation. It's just seeing somebody, like seeing an ex after a year after y'all broke up or whatever, and now you're like, okay, before you might have, you know, kind of jumped into it like, Fuck this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, why well, I gotta see this person? I don't want to be around here to see, say, you know, say so and so and so and so. But when you heal and you see them, it's like, hey, so so. I'm glad you're doing good. You look great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing well. Stay up, my motherfucking nigga. Stay up, whoever you is. You know what I'm saying? And you can go on with your life like nothing ever happened. Okay? This is like a form of killing, killing them with kindness, in a sense. Killing them with kindness works so fucking well because it's like people would expect you to treat them like shit the same way they treated you. But it's like, nah, I'm a divine being. I don't even got to do the tip for tat with you. You, 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 my shine, my love, my light is going to shine so fucking bright. You ain't going to have no choice but to bow down. You ain't going to have no choice but to ask for forgiveness. You ain't going to have no choice but to feel that motherfucking remorse. You know what I'm saying? When you think about those situations that held you down you're gonna go man i kind of needed that you know like if i hadn't lost my mother i don't think i'd even really be sitting here in front of y'all right now it's like you gotta take the bad with the good you know what i'm saying but now it's like when you accept the bad know that the good is going more good will come you know what i'm saying so forgiving yourself it's like when you, you, you jump through this hole, forgiving yourself. Now I gotta forgive others, and then now I'm, I'm now I'm on a new playing field. Now I'm on a new a new plane. You know, I hope I'm making sense, y'all. I don't have no notes for this one, so I hope I'm not like all over the place. But it's like you want to you'll be on a new plane, and then when you're on that new plane, that's when the divine can go ahead and start sending you in. The real, the good shit, what, what, what was already aligned for you, you know what I'm saying? But it's like you had to clear out, you had to clean the rest of them shells off, you know what I'm saying? You had to go dust, dust, you know what I'm saying? And wipe down the counters and sweep the floor out. You got the big shit out. You got all the good, the nasty shit. Now you just kind of got to surface wipe, sweep the floor, get the rest of it out, you know what I'm saying? Once that's out, it's gone, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, think about the song. She said, broken heart again. Excuse my singing. My voice so fucked up. Another lesson learned. Better know your friend. 
Well, she will give it her. Like, she's, she's going back and reminiscing on all the things that have caused her so much pain that she's deciding today, no more pain, no drama, no more drama in my life. No one's going to make me hurt again. Nobody's going to make me hurt again. No situation is going to make me hurt again. I control this shit. You know what I'm saying? I need a peace of mind. That's my part. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Yeah, I need. I would not sleep. I need to know that you won't bring. No. I need to know that you won't bring no more drama in my life. But the only way that we can know that they won't bring no more drama is to not require it. You, you cannot. You cannot. That is a deal breaker. You can't come with your baggage over here. We good. You can't come with that bullshit over here. You can't come speaking to me any type of way. You can't come mistreating me. You can't come using me. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, um, I can't go put myself in, in this type of place and position anymore. I can't go hang around these motherfuckers no more. I can't go devil, devil, dabble in this shit no more. I, I, I don't do that. Okay? So if you want to be over here with me, you need to understand that these boundaries I have set. Boundaries. That's how you know. Once you start putting up boundaries with motherfuckers and decide, like, hey, this is even like well, simple shit. Like, where you work at? Like, my bro always tell me, oh, you know what I'm saying? You need to provide for your child. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but you work for the world. I work for the divine. So it's a little different for us. I don't got to go and, and bust my ass no more. I don't. I, I, I told God I don't want to do it. And, and, and I don't have to. It's been a line for me to not have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I told you on my other video, <laughs> I got to move with no money. Look where I'm at. You know, my background is the same. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the ends to do that. Look where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So once you start, once you start really going hard, doing that extra, finishing out that clearing out that healing work, the, the, the new level shadow work, you know, that shit, I'm telling you, brings you... Brings you to an open playing field, man. It ain't nothing but shower blessings coming after that. I heard y'all, so I just, I really hope, you know, like I said, this one, two, all over the place, but I really would want y'all to listen to this. Go listen to the song if you need to. And really just dissect it and take it in. Take it in. Read the lyrics over and look at your own life and look at the areas in your life where you're like, man, I need to clean this up. I need to fix this up for me. You know? Even moms, you know, parents. I'm not going to say moms, parents, dads too. Especially when you're doing it alone and you just, you feel, you beat yourself up. I can say this for, I'm speaking for a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to chime in on this one. You beat yourself up. You feel like, damn, I wish I could have chose a better person to, to have you with. I wish I would have been more sensible about who I was leaning with. I wish I would have waited. I wish I would have, I should have, could have, would have. You know what I'm saying? It's ordained. It was supposed to be like this. Uh, if it wasn't, it wouldn't be, right? So what's the point of beating yourself up about it? What's the point of beating yourself up and saying, I messed up? There's no fucking rule book on parenting. There's no fucking rule book on how to raise a child, on, on how to correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no rule book for any of it. It's simple as learning as you go. You know what I'm saying? You have a lineage that's behind you. You may not be able to see them, but they are there and you need to speak to them. You need to reach out to them, okay? Because they want to guide you. They want to help you, okay? My grandmother and my mom, God rest their beautiful souls. They be in this bitch. They be in this bitch heavy. And I'm going to add in my great-grandmother too, okay? My grandfather, he be here. They be here. My uncle, like I know they do, yo, because they pop up in my head at the craziest times and they be like, Something of them will, 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 will cause me to do, you know, like, oh, let me go give him this. Or maybe I should go do this for him, you know, to help calm the situation. So I'm stopped being irritated and he can stop being irritated because I'm irritated. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But it's like, even if when you're feeling like you're alone, you're not alone. You need to forgive yourself for that shit. You need to, you need to forgive others. You know what I'm saying? Forgive yourself for, for feeling bad about not having because we're not without. We, the, we only believe that we are without in the mind. But once you change your perspective and know, I am not alone. I am not alone. 
I do not walk alone. I have a full divine family. I like to call them the dream team, you know what I'm saying? The gang, the set, you know, they all here, right here, surrounding you. They, but, but, but you gotta tag them in, you gotta ask, you gotta call upon them. And I'm not saying you don't gotta do no crazy ritual shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Literally as simple as, hey mom, I, I know you're around me. You know, I, can you just come to me in my dream and show me, give me a sign, show me what to do for, for this child. Hey dad, man, like, how do I raise this boy up to be a man? Like, show me the way, please, huh? What would you tell me right now, or grandma, or shit? You ain't got if you ain't fuck with them in the, in the, in the 3D and now they they in the you know the 5D and they're in a different realm, they're in a spiritual realm. You could be like y'all going straight to source, source, please. I don't want to talk to none of these motherfuckers. <laughs> I need source, okay? Go straight to the source, tap in. You know what I'm saying? And be open. So what's, what's, what's raining down on you? 10-10. Ten, ten. It's 10-10 ten, ten on the clock, yo. They are here. All right. I just wanted that music to come in. It just did something to my spirit. I don't know why I just wanted to cry. It's time to be happy, yo. Damn, what the fuck? Jazz music just did to me. <laughs> it's time to be happy. It's time to let it go. It's not for them. It's for you. It's for you to see where your life can go. It's for you to know that you are deserving of a, a grand life. You are deserving of love. You are deserving of friends. You are deserving of family. You are deserving to be happy. But you have to believe that for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to believe that shit for yourself. Otherwise, what good is it? I can tell you that all day. That you can have this. You can be this. The divine can send you messages all day. But until you know it in here and in here. Because see, they work. They coincide, they work together. What you think is what you believe. So make what you believe, train yourself to think that way, okay? We going up in this motherfucking life. We not here to be slaves. We not here to live a bad life, to have a hard not fucking life. Our names ain't Annie, and if it is, bitch, you wasn't meant to be little orphan Annie, okay? You wasn't meant for that. I'm talking to my brothers out here too. I'm not ever just talking to my sisters. I'm talking to my brothers too. I don't know why I just felt like somebody felt like talking to women, I'm talking to all of us. Sir, you are not a soft ass man because you need to cry. You want love, you want nurturing. You've been in a hard not fucking life. You weren't able to feel. You It wasn't allowed for you to have feelings. Forgive yourself for that. You didn't know no better. You just held it in. You didn't know it was damaging you. It's okay. Trust me. Us real divine feminists out here, us real goddesses out here, we will never fucking degrade you for that. I want y'all to cry. I want y'all to release that shit. I want y'all to breathe, my brothers. Please breathe. And please know you are loved. You are protected too. You don't got to be out there being the protector all the time. Sometimes you need a shoulder too. Sometimes you need somebody to shield you too. I get it. We are here. Let's band together. Let's stand together. Forgive the old you for the things that you did not know. Please forgive them for they not know what they do. Forgive them. Because a lot of times we grow up with parents and family members who are just as damaged as they damaged us. They don't fucking know no better. And then the ones that raised them, the cycle goes on. That's why we're here to break these generational curses. It stops with us. So our kids don't go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, it's up for us. Know that shit.
affirm today, there will be no more drama in my life. There will be no more drama in my life. And I'm going to go ahead and end this here, y'all. As I always say, make sure you keep your shit real. Tell the truth. Make sure you keep your shit raw or no holds bar. And come back and kick it with your favorite brown skin, John. I love you guys so much. Stay up.